What you doing there, mister? Wanna come help take apart the CR500? Do ya? You know you want to. Go do ya! Come on, let's go! Let's go! Come on! Yep, it's that time of year. Time to take this thing apart, completely rebuild. Today we're going to cover just the basics. We're going to take off the seat, side panels, the uh, airbox, maybe the carburetor. I'll also be draining out the radiator fluid and the engine oil as well. Meter, uh, socket, well it is for me anyway. Quite easy to get to, right in the middle of the case. Gloves would be a good idea, but not exactly needed. For the engine oil, I have to use uh, ATF fluid. Get it from a car quest for about four or five dollars, depending on uh, what kind I want. I prefer it over the regular synthetic. It has a better clutch feel and actually lasts a bit longer. I have found. Well, that finishes up doing this thing. Oil right there. We're gonna. Go ahead and drain the radiator fluid. It's just one single 10 millimeter bolt right there. It's also a Phillips if you want to use that. <clears throat> now, this stuff will get everywhere, and I mean everywhere if you're not careful. So, be prepared for that. Make sure you have like a whole lot of paper towels ready just in case. Go ahead and remove the radiator cap, which is on the front right radiator, right at the top. Now, get the bucket ready. I'm just using an old uh, uh, antifreeze jug for this. I'll go ahead and loosen this up carefully as to not make a giant mess. And just kind of. Hope for the best. So you see that makes quite a mess if you're not really prepared for it. Make even even bigger mess if you're not really prepared for it. Now I could probably probably reuse this next year or uh, whenever I put this thing back together. But just for the sake of the uh, consistency of the fluid, I'm just going to go with a new radiator fluid instead of reusing this. You can go ahead and tip the bike over. Just make sure you get all of it out, or most of it out. <coughs> most of it all out. Just like that. That should be good for now. Go ahead and just put your screw back in there. Just like that. And that's that. Okay, next we're going to take out the seat, which is just two bolts, one here, right above the number plate. It's the same thing on the left side. It's right there, right above the number plate. Should be a 10 millimeter bolt. There's two of them. Just go ahead and move those. Pretty easy. Make sure, when you put it back together, make sure they're, uh, they're uh, nice and tight. They don't come flying off. Both of the seats come off in the middle of the race. That's obviously no good. I've seen it happen. Granted, it was funny, but you really don't want that to happen, that to happen to yourself. Just 
And over here, do the same on the other side. Then once you've done that, all you gotta do is press on right here, click on the back of the seat, and it'll come right off. It's that simple. Now for the side panels here's two 10 millimeter bolts, one on each side. One right here, that's mirrored on the other side, and the one that held on the seat as well. So all you gotta do is just take that one right off, like so. Well, just pull it right off. Just like that. You just do the same thing for the other side. 